Hello you guys, I'm making a comeback and I have the wonderful Lee with me today and I'm gonna ask him some questions about his gender identity and stuff and I hope you like it. So, Lee, introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I am Lee, I am a trans guy and he's wonderful. So, um, Lee, tell me a little bit about your experience being a trans guy and growing up and realizing your identity and stuff. Well, it was, it was really weird at the beginning because I genuinely thought I was a boy and I don't know, I wasn't really educated on the anatomy stuff and I, I genuinely thought there was something wrong with my body but I was um, lucky enough to be surrounded with some people who educated me on the subject early on uh, well, not that early, but 7th grade, I think, so that improved the experience a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, growing up I wasn't aware of anything really, uh, and the YouTube really helped me, helped me to um, understand uh, about ge ge gender identities and how different they are. So I think it's important to talk about your experiences and that's why we're here today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and sorry to the interruption. No, no, no. No. And um, like how was your experience being here in Greece because we're not a big country like the US and stuff and we don't have a great community so do you feel accepted or? Well I mainly just felt alone and like I would never know anyone who felt, who felt the way I do uh, until one day I realized that I had been around people who felt the way I did and it was strange because this all this prejudice makes you feel more isolated than you actually are. Yeah, um, I've heard that a lot actually and I have another trans friend who actually has told me quite similar things like you, you're telling me right now. And what about school? Like um, being in school, I because we are not like uh, very grown up and stuff. So you, it's quite a recent experience for you. And do you feel like people were accepting you? Did you ever dare to tell about your identity to anyone? Or uh, well, I only came out this year actually to both my family and school. Uh, I knew I was trans for like five years now but it was like that thing we we don't talk about because we know it will just be laughed at or yeah minimized completely yeah uh, but my experience this year was actually pretty positive uh, I was very lucky about that yeah, um, same thing with me and I know what I went through in no way compares to like how massive uh, your experience must have been because like uh, you're telling something way too different because like it or not some people are more used to hearing about other people being gay but trans people not so much especially trans guys yeah it's also the fact that being trans actually makes you feel bad like on its own because you feel the dysphoria yeah quite the same with me I was accepted more than I could ever imagine because my school um, turned out to be really gay friendly and it was a nice experience how it was together <laughs> and um yes basically um do you want to tell me anything else or mm, I, I don't know maybe but uh, i started uh discovering i was trans by like google and stuff and i remember those ridiculous google searches like i i don't feel like i'm a girl <laughs> what do i do <laughs> what did i do <laughs> please help me <laughs> Okay, so, well, thank you, Lee. I hope I get to interview you some more some other time. But for now, that's it, you guys. And if you stay till the end of this video, thank you so much. I'm gonna try to make some more content and maybe I'll try to get some more guests. Um, subscribe to Lee. I'll leave the, uh, the link in the description. We also did another video on his channel. And I hope you liked it. Bye! Bye! <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Yahoo <laughs> Answers. And Yahoo Answers, of course. Of course. <laughs> where that is where the questions lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you hear the stereotypical mom like, oh, you'll grow out of it. It's just a little face. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little face. You'll be over it soon. Like, probably when you're dead. <laughs> I was just waiting to be over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit, I was told it would be over, but. <laughs>